time, y'all. Let's get it in. Muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman uh, Derek Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the early what I see through script study and prayer line. Hallelujah. On this first day in December, y'all. December 1 just begun. All right, so we're going to get it in then. We're back at it like a fanatic. Deceitful change, part 9. Theme scripture, John 5, 43. Let's hop on it. Let's do what we came to do. Brook your name, Yahuwah. All right, y'all. <clears throat> I am coming my father's name. So, Taylor, all we got to do is look at uh, where we at now. His name's been taken out the Bible. It don't take no rocket science to figure that part out. A lot of the Christian world is not tripping off that. It don't bother them at all. But in the last days, the Most High is going to start pouring out more knowledge. And there's a name of salvation. Yeah, there's a name of salvation, and it's Yah's name. There is a name dedicated to salvation. There's a name designed, dedicated, created for the purpose of salvation. And the shadow and type of that was when the Most High grabbed Moshe, they call him Moses, grabbed Moses, appointed, anointed Moses to bring a form of salvation to Israel when they was in Egypt. Are y'all with me? Yeah, he anointed Moses, right, to be a deliverer. He said, I'm going to make you like uh, Elohim to Pharaoh. He said, you, you're going to play me in the, in, 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 in the face of Pharaoh. You with me, Demina? Taylor, y'all with me? Elder Cam, Randall, Ed, Al Mal, Mom, Mother-in-law, Big Sis, Stone, y'all with me? <clears throat> I'm going to make you like an Elohim in the face of Pharaoh. But he gave him his name. Most High, Most High wanted everybody to know who the Savior is. Read. Gene. Most High wanted everybody to know that he's the one to save. He ain't giving his glory to another nor to a graven image, not to another human being, nor a graven image. He running this. So he had a, a shadow and a type, and he set the parameters. He set the rules and regulations. He set the blueprint. Are y'all with me? He set the blueprint of salvation, so he gave him his name at the burning bush. Because there's a name dedicated to salvation. In fact, he told he told he told Moses that uh, the name I gave you, I didn't even give to Abraham and them. Yeah, this, this, this is what we rocking with moving forward. Because I'm finna deliver, I'm finna deliver my people, <laughs> Neil, Beverly. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? And so, he said, I'm coming in my father's name and you receive me not. If another should come in his own name, <clears throat> him you will receive. Well, there's a new name running around here. <sighs> and you're going to receive him. And, 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 and didn't we receive him? Seems like you got to get a crowbar and pry folks off new the new name. <sighs> You got to get a crowbar, Trenda, and pry that name out of, out of, out of, out of the ex-slaves' mouths. Oh, my goodness. He gave his name. It, it, it was represented by the Tetragrammaton. That's what they named it, right? The Tetragrammaton. Yah self-existed, Y-H-W-H. You with me, Trenda? YHWH, Yah self existed. 
His name is Yah. Description of him, self-existent, Y-H-W-A. That's the name he gave. He gave to Moses. And then he sent him in his name to 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 deliver. Yeah, to, to deliver, you know, the children. So when the Messiah said, I come in my father's name, <clears throat> this is the renewed according to Jeremiah 31, uh, 31 through 33. They call it the new covenant. It's the renewed. Same covenant he made on Mount Sinai. It's just this time his word is in our hearts as opposed to on stone. Yeah, that's the difference. This is this is spiritual now. Because the most high is the essence of, of his word. His word is the expression of his character, which is our salvation. His essence, his spiritual essence is what created us. The expression of that is his word. Are y'all with me? So when we're filled with the Ruach HaKadosh, when we're filled with his spirit, we're, we're filled with the essence of his character. And then he gives gifts. He gives us spiritual abilities that come from the essence of his character. Cause because he's he, he has all ability. And, and and he'll divide it to us as he see fit. So we can do a work in his name in these last and evil days. The work we do is not us, it's not of our flesh. It's the gift of Yah, at least any man should boast. We can't boast, it's the essence of his character. Are y'all with me? And the renewed, the renewed covenant is the same covenant. It's just signed with a be better signature. Because the first covenant was signed with the signature of the blood of animals. The second was signed with the signature of the blood of the Messiah. It's a better signature. It's renewed. In fact, the first covenant was like a preliminary contract. Leading to the real contract, Redmond Smith. Yeah, it was leading to a real contract, the fulfillment. The seed of the woman that would bruise the head of the serpent. He signed the contract with his blood. And the seed of the woman that signed the contract with his blood came with a name that's above every name. Are y'all with me? Came with a name that's above every name. And at that name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Because Acts got involved when he wrote to Acts 4 and 12. He said, and neither is there salvation in any other name. For there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Ain't no other name. There ain't one. So going back to the shadow and type, he gave his name to Moses in Midian at the, at the burning bush. And then sent him back on in Egypt to go get my people in my name which was a shadow and type, which was a preliminary contract. That's the name that the preliminary contract was established for, the preliminary. But, but the signature, he didn't sign that one. The signature was the signature uh, uh, of the blood of animals <clears throat> leading uh, to the futuristic real contract that would be signed with the blood of the Mashiach. Are y'all with me? Put a one in here if y'all with me. We just getting started, y'all. Put a one in here if y'all with me. So when he said, I come in my father's name and you receive me not, and then we know historically that Israel rejected him and said, give me Barabbas. Kill him. Give me Barabbas. So they didn't receive him. So here we go. Shipped into Babylon to experience sun god worship. And here come the new name. Here come the new names. They read. They took the Most High's name out the Bible, put in God and Lord and stuff. Took his name out. Who told them to do that, Ramon? Logan, who told them to take his name? Took his name out. Constantine had to take his name out because he's representing paganism, Luciferianism. Yeah, he got a vision. He's looking at a giant unk, an Egyptian unk. He's looking at, at a cross, right? He had a vision he going to conquer. 
in the name of a cross. Right? That's the vision he had. Right? And he created the Roman Catholic Church. So it went from the Messiah hanging on the tree to now cross. Are y'all with me? You talking good, Reed. <laughs> he's looking at a cross. And now he's going to create. He going he gonna to merge the church in. Sun God worshiper. He going he gonna to merge the term church, which is sun God worship, on in. Right? And now he's going to rename that as the body of believers. That's the replacement for Israel. Because they was being punished by the Most High. So he said, I take it from here. Look what he did. He said, I got it from here. And he came on in with that. And so now, during the Renaissance period, they're able to white out stuff, change pictures and artifacts. Banks, they did a whole lot of stuff. They got to redoing stuff. Why did him on out? Melanated brother. He wasn't when they was finished. When they finished with him, he had a pitch. He had a new picture uh, uh, in circulation. Caesar Borgia. They had a whole new picture. Yeah, he 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 painted his boyfriend. <clears throat> Well, he didn't paint his boyfriend for that reason. He had already painted his boyfriend. His daddy, the Pope, decided that we're going to use your boyfriend's picture. I like that picture. We're going to use your boyfriend's picture. Caesar Borgia's picture. Da Vinci, you like that picture? We're going to use that one. <laughs> and they put that on in there. And, and renamed him. Yeah, they renamed him Jesus. Well, that's not the first name they did. They did Isu first. And they threw that in the 1611, uh, 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 the King James Version, the 1611 King James Version Bible. They slapped that on in there, mayors. That's what they did do, Taylor. Yeah, they took, they took uh, 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 Yehoshua out, Yehusha, however you want to pronounce it, but they took that out and they slapped on in there uh, 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 Isu. And then, and then, and then from from Isu, right, right, right. The Greeks was running it, Isu, and then and then after the Greeks, uh, uh, Rome, you know, they came on in, they came on in with the Latin, and then they turned it to Isus, and then you know they created they created the English language, and so they came in on with the J. Yeah, they created the J from the I. And then they came on in with the English J, slapped that on there, and, they, and, they, and we ended up with Jesus. Now, in our punishment, the pre-hole, uh, uh, we were blinded. Romans 11 chapter talks about the most high was behind our blinding. Yeah, Deuteronomy 32 lets you know the most high blinded us. Gave us the spirit of stupor in Romans 11 chapter. Blinded us, caused us to sleep. Because we're, we were disrespectful. All right, Hall. But we were disrespectful. Sean Kennedy. We was disrespectful, so we lost our identity. We lost who we were. Yeah. It was only temporary. I'm just recanting, y'all. <clears throat> The biblical theme is that all right? So a lot of a lot a lot of stuff happened, but I, I want to talk to y'all. Let, let's slide on into Jude again. Let's look at this. Starting the third verse, I just want to show y'all this. I'm all, almost want to finish talking about what I was just talking about. Completely, it's relevant, but man, I'm getting pulled a little bit. But let me let me read this, y'all. Let, let me see. Let me see. Anyway. Three. Look what this say. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write on you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write on you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. So that's what we're doing. We're going back to Deuteronomy 30, right? Miss Slim. We're going back to 
uh, uh, Deuteronomy uh, 30, right, when when uh, we was going to wake up in our land of captivity, right, and, and we was going to turn back to him. And it's going to be while we still was in, slave, in, our, in the slave nations and scattered. We was going to wake up, right? We're going to repent and, and come back to him. So that's what we're doing, right? We're giving all diligence, right? So we can earnestly contend for the faith that was once delivered on to uh, the children of Israel. They call it, in, in, uh, in this New Testament, saints. But it's, it, it's Israel, right? That was once delivered on to Israel, right? And then it talks about in the fourth verse, there are certain men crept in unaware who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, and they turned the grace of Yah into lasciviousness and denied the only Elohim, uh, Adonai Elohim, and our uh, Adonai Yahushua HaMashiach, right? Right? Who they refer to as Jesus Christ now, that they changed his name. Is that all right? Look what this say, fifth verse. <clears throat> I would therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. You once knew this. Listen to what I'm trying to say. You once knew his name. You, you once knew what true salvation was all about. Once upon a time. Pastor Amon Bell, love you, man. Long time. Fifth verse, Jude 5. I would therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that... Uh, Yah having saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterward destroyed them that believe not right he, he saved them out of the land of Egypt but then he ended up destroying them in the wilderness right and the angels which kept not their first estate but left their own habitation has he reserved an everlasting change under darkness until the judgment of that great day. Did y'all hear that? So he took us back to um, Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter. That's what he just did right here in the sixth verse. Right? What, 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 he's, what he's showing is, I'm going to read five again. Look what this say. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that Yahuwah, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed them to believe not. So much for once saved, always saved. Because this spiritual concept that the Most High is sharing with us is you can start off right and end up wrong. Don't believe this Catholicized, sun god worship version of serving him. This sun god worship version of his character. The word will disclose what his true character is. And we once knew that. Fifth verse. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that Yahuwah, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. He, he rescued them, but then they were, they, were, they were marked unbelievers. He started off the relationship with them, but he ended it because they proved to be unbelievers, just like it can happen today. You can start off with him and then prove that you're an unbeliever. And then you got problems. Are y'all with me? And he proved it further in the sixth verse. Look what it said. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. They came out of heaven, y'all, out of the presence of the Most High, right? They left their own habitation, having reserved in the everlasting change under darkness Onto uh, the judgment of that great day. Watch this. Let's go look. Let's go to Genesis 6 right quick. <clears throat> Just want to show y'all this. 6 and 1. Let's read it. Stay with me, Barbara. Let's read it. And it shall come to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them that the sons of Yah saw the daughters of men why do you think it classified them as the daughters of men? Because the sons of Yah wasn't men. They were looking at the daughters of men, and they weren't men. They were angels. Stay with me. That the sons of Yah saw the daughters of men that were fair, fine women. And they took them wives of all which they chose. So they started snatching women. <laughs> I said, look what y'all done done. Ooh, look at these women. Look. 
And Yah said, my spirit should not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be in 120 years, right? Some people believe they're saying that our lifespan will be 120 years. I'm not prepared to teach that right now, but that's not necessarily true at all. It's a, it's a time dispensation, but let me continue to teach. So Luke the four first says, right? Oh, and let me at least, at least touch this though. My spirit should not always strive with man, for he is all for for that he is also flesh, because flesh is disqualified, y'all, because of Adam. The whole plan is to come anew, because the wage of sin is death, and flesh got to meet death. Flesh, flesh owed death. Humanity owes death. The way of sin is death. We were all born in sin and shaped iniquity. So, so we got to die. That's why he, he, he has a born again. Right? So he letting you know, I'm not going to always strive with this flesh. With this first Adam nature of man, I'm not going to always mess with them like that. It's going to be, it's going to be a new heaven, a new earth, and you're going to put on a new body because I'm finna get rid of that. Are y'all with me? Four first. There were giants in the earth in those days. Listen to me. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of Yah came in onto the daughters of men, that means they were sleeping with them, having sex with them. And they bare children to them. And now we call them the Nephilim. There, there is some wicked folk in earth that are the children of the fallen. They're Luciferians. And the book of Enoch teaches you that well. And it also teaches you that the angels that left their first estate, they became devils. They're devils. Right? Some of them are, are in judgment right now and, and reserved in chains of darkness. Right? But there was some more that came. I, I, you know, I'll just say this. There's some more that came after the flood. That's why there was giants when, when, when the children of Israel went into Canaan and they got scared. It was giant. There, there was giants uh, in the earth before the flood. The Most High wiped them all out. And now you're making me explain. I didn't open up a can of worms. I'm not going to teach all this right now, but let me just keep talking to you. Before the flood, the reason why he, he I'm going to teach it right here. Don't go nowhere. Four first. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, uh, uh, when the sons of Yah came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare, bare them, them, them children. That, and also after that, there were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, did y'all catch that? There were giants in the earth in those days, talking about back then, pre-flood, and, and also after that, post-flood. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Is that fair? Uh, Haviv, is that fair? Right? Genesis 6, 4. And there were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of Yah came in onto the daughters of men, and they bare, and they bare children to them. And the same became mighty men which were of old, which were of old, men of renown, which were of old. Didn't we just read that in Jude? I'm going to stay right there, but let's go back to Jude. For first, there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Of old ordained to this condemnation. They were of old. Back to uh, uh, Genesis 6. Look what this said. For first, there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that. When the sons of, uh, of Yah came in onto the daughters of men and they bare them children. That's the Nephilim, y'all. That's in the earth right now. That's running the governments right now. That hate Yah right now. They were, uh, were of old ordained to this condemnation. Unyali jokers. Listen. And they bare children unto them. And the same became mighty men which were of old ordained, men of renown. And Yah saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. 
and it repented Yah that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. Are y'all with me? And, y and Yah said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man, beast, creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repent me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahuwah. Why, why you think Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahuwah? Pastor Kim Tinsley. I'm pretty sure you probably know already. But why why you think why why you think why you think that um that <laughs> why all right Smith. Why why you think uh uh Noah found uh so called grace in the eyesight of Yah? Because he 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 was the one that wasn't tainted by the fallen. He he still had pure blood. I'm trying to help. He still had pure blood. Are y'all with me? <laughs> Listen, a first. But Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahuwah. The reason why he flooded it, flood, flooded them and drowned them. Because they was tainted. The bloodline was tainted. It wasn't it wasn't just the sexual sickness and all the stuff that was going on. It was the fact that that that, that they were they were tainted. The bloodline. That's why they're trying to taint our blood right now. That's what they're doing right now. That's why they do Pharmacia. Pharmacia is um, chemical potions pharmacia is 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 witchcraft pharmacy pharmacia that's why the medical system is represented by the wings of Baphomet and the phallus symbol that's in in, in the Luciferian symbol Baphomet the phallus symbol that's in his lap wrapped with snakes that's why that's their medical system that's their logo. Oh, I don't want to teach too much, but I'm trying to start because now I want to talk about the statue again. But listen, a first, but Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahuwah. Are y'all with me? Now, look what this say. These, these are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generation. And Noah walk with Yah. Perfect is talking about his bloodline. It's not saying that he didn't get drunk because he did. His perfection was talking about his bloodline wasn't tainted. Back to Jude, y'all. <laughs> Back to Jude. Listen. Back to fifth verse. So, so I can share the point that I was trying to make. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. These are things we once knew. How Yahuwah, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not. Again, there, there goes one save, always save. If y'all with me, put a two in here. Come on, y'all. If you with me, put a two in here. Read me, it makes sense? Put a two in here if y'all with me. Put a two in here if y'all with me. Come on, y'all. Put a two in here if y'all with me. Put a three in here if you agree. <laughs> Put a three in here if you agree. Good to see you in here, mother. Put a three in here if you agree. Fifth verse, look what it say. It say, I will therefore put your remembrance, though you once knew this, how that Yahuwah, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them to believe not. He saved them. He rescued them, but he destroyed them. He got him in a place to where he dealt with him. Yeah. You can get saved. Oh, yeah. And then prove you're an infidel. Prove that you're unworthy. That's why the Bible say he to put his hand to the plow and look it back isn't fit for the kingdom. I know what Catholicism teach. I know that, that the children of Israel was cursed with sun god worship. In 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 in, in Acts seven and forty two. In the forty second verse, he said, "I'm turning you over to sun god worship, 
And then at the latter clause of the 43rd verse, he said, and you're going beyond Babylon. So when you get beyond Babylon, you're going to lose everything that Judas talk about. When he said, you once knew this, how come you don't know it? Because you were blinded. By who? The Most High. Because he turned you over to sun god worship in Acts 7 and 42. And he told you where you ge geographically was going to be when he turned you over to sun god worship. Scattered. In the land of captivity. Scattered. And you, you going you, you gonna to be with a, a Kaaba a stone, the black stone, thinking you a Muslim. That's the stone. Or, or, or you going to be a, a wood, the Roman Catholic cross that came from Constantine. And Constantine got it uh, from uh, 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 Egypt, the Unk, the cross. And, and Egypt got it from Mesopotamia, from the Tower of Babel. He got it from Nimrod, Semiramis, and Tammuz, the original satanic Luciferian trinity. Put a three in here if y'all with me. What's up with it, JB? Put a three in here, Latricia Johnson, if y'all with me. Put a three in here if you're with me. Stay with me. So the fifth verse, I'm, I'm back at it. The fifth verse says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. You knew this. You once knew this. I'll put you there for a minute. Though you once knew this, how that Yahuwah, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed them that believe not. Listen. And the angel which kept not their first estate, right, but left their own habitation, he reserved in the everlasting change under darkness, right, unto the judgment of the great day. Right? Um, that's what I wanted out of there. Back to you. I mean, John 5, 43. I am coming my father's name. So, so, the shadow and type, right? Egyptian captivity, which was... They was only in Egypt for 215 years from the time Joseph went in and came in there to the Most High giving Moses the Ten Commandments, right? 215 years. So it was impossible for that 215 years to satisfy the dream that Abraham had of 400 years of slavery and mistreatment. That was a shadow on the type. To prove further that it was a shadow on the type, when he delivered them out of Egypt, he got them to Mount Sinai and he told them, if you cross me, I'm shipping you into Egypt again. And Egypt represents the land of bondage. I'm shipping you into Egypt again. Well, the first Egypt they went into, they walked because it was walking distance. This one they ain't going to be walking distance. Did they cross him? Did they go against him is my next question. Did they sin against him to qualify them to be shipped into Egypt? Because the first time they walked. Did they go against him? Put a one in here if y'all know they went against him. They broke the covenant. They broke the, they they went against his commandments. They they went against they went against the first contract of his word on stone and they signed the contract with the blood of animals. Put a one in here if y'all know that. The, 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 the first covenant contract that Most High entered into with the children of Israel, the seed of Abraham, right? They signed that contract with the blood of animals in Egypt. Right after the, at the close of the 250 year stay, 215 year stay, the 215 year stay in Egypt, they ended up at Mount Sinai up under uh, Moses. 
They ended up in Mount Sinai and he received the Ten Commandments and the children of Israel signed the contract with the blood of animals and entered into a covenant agreement with him and they broke it. Which is a prelude to the real Egypt that would be 400 years and then that and then they would enter into a, a new contract that would be signed with the blood of the Messiah. Are y'all with me? Yeah. Most high know what he was doing, Dolores Cannon. <laughs> Most high know what he's doing. John 5, 43. I come in my father's name. So when he came to, to, to Judah in Jerusalem, he came in his father's name. What's his father's name? Same name he gave to Moses when he sent him to deliver them out of Egypt. Yah. Hallelujah. That's why the slaves were singing Kumbaya. <laughs> they was in trouble because <laughs> they knew his name. <laughs> Jews say, you once knew this. <laughs> I'm just reminding you, but you once knew this. Well, now we're coming out of sleep. We're coming out of hibernation. The Most High gave his name to Moses in Midian before he sent him into Egypt. And that under that name, he delivered the children of Israel. Which was a shadow and type of the second Egypt, which would be 400 years to satisfy the dream, to bring the dream to pass that Abraham had in Genesis, the 15th chapter. The second Egypt will be the fulfillment of that. Because the second Egypt is the last captivity. Are y'all with me? It's the last captivity. So when he said, I come in my father's name, it was literal. But, but a part of the blinding process is Constantine had to take his name out the Bible. And then come with the cross. And start the Roman Catholic Church. Which is the true basora, what they call the gospel, the true plan of salvation. But he mixed it with paganism. It was wide open. He could do that. He did it. So he took his name out. So that sets him up. Not only did he take his name out, but he took out the fact that it's one. He had to, he had to go with polytheism. Or what is that? Many gods? He had to go the many god route. Are y'all with me? He had to go the many god route. He couldn't have monotheism, one Elohim, that would mess up his whole thing. That's the opposite of paganism. That's the opposite of, 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 of these uh, 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 Luciferian. They got a God for everything. He had, to, he had to open this thing up. So not only did he have to take his name out, right, and put in the names of their gods, because God is a name of their gods. And I showed y'all that in Isaiah 65. What is it? Why, why am I tripping all of a sudden? 65 and 12? See, now I want to see it. But they came in, Isaiah 65, 11. Yeah, I, I, don't, I ain't going to it. Isaiah 65, 11 and 12. But Isaiah 65 and 11. They came in with a deity called God. So they took Yah's name out and put their deity in. Another name for Baal is Lord. They took Yah's name out and put Lord, another deity. Yeah, they got rid of they got they got rid of Passover and put in Easter, which is not which is another deity. Are y'all with me? <laughs> Talk back to me. They took his unmerited favor out and put in grace. They took his kabah out and put in glory. Glory, look it up, Gloria, glory. That's I'm not. If you're, that's y'all name, that's another deity. There's some more names that I'm not gonna get into, but they put they they took y'all out and they substituted all their deities. They they they, they 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 came in with their rituals, they Luciferian rituals, Christmas, Luciferian ritual. 
Easter, Luciferian ritual, New Year's, Luciferian rituals, change the, change the rest day, the Shabbat, to sun god worship, to Sunday. They did a lot. And they did it when we was being disciplined because we dropped the ball. He said, oh, yeah, I'm sitting, I'm, I'm turning you over. He, back to Acts 7, 42, I'm turning you over to sun god worship, Rimfin. Sun god worship. I'm turning you over to, to the star of Rimfin. There's a people that's pretending to be us, and they got the star of Rimfin on their flag. Yeah, he said, I'm, I'm turning you over. The star of Rimfin. Yeah, yeah, I know if like I said that earlier. But you're right. In this lesson, I said that. Are y'all with me? Turned you over the sun god worship. So while we're being punished, the part of the punishment is these wicked people who were of older name. Are y'all with me? I come in my father's name, John 5, 43. I come in my father's name, listen, and you receive me not. You didn't receive me. If another should come in his own name, him you will receive. And that's is it gonna be under sun god worship. The new guy represents sun god worship. His doctrine is a loose Luciferian doctrine. It's like is it's like the doctrine of Balaam. That's what it is. It's like the doctrine of Balaam. It's like you don't have to obey Yah, right? You you, you don't have to obey him no more, right? You're under grace, and they change the grace of Yah into lasciviousness, a platform for sin, right? Once saved, always saved. Once you're saved, you, know, you can't lose your salvation. We're just sinners, perpetual sinners saved by grace. We ain't going to never obey him. Are y'all with me? Keep putting in that good information, Flight. Are y'all with me? <clears throat> I'll check it out later. I am coming in my father's name and you will see me not. If another shall come in his name, you're going to receive him. No, you, you see, one cool thing about it, uh, Dupree Hall, is this, this locomotive was already on the track running. Right, if it was up to them, because right now they're trying to get rid of all of it. They're trying to get rid of the Bible, and they're coming in with a whole new religious system and the whole nine yard with everything, just like Catholicism, which it, it fits the the, the the Catholic model, because the Catholic model is use, universal religions, all the paganism and everything. They had to get rid of certain parts of truth in order for all the other gods and rituals to fit in. And that's what the Catholics did. Well, they, they headed back, they headed back towards that. Are, 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 are you with me? But the locomotive was already running, meaning they try to get rid of all of it to come in with the new, but they had to let it roll like it was. So they did that a long time ago. So what they did was they capitalized on the fact that we were in exile. We were in exile. We was in trouble with the Most High. And they used to say that we're the curse of uh, 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 the Most High. So we basically, they can do whatever they want to us. And that's exactly what they did. So we went through pure hell back then. Hell on earth. Real talk. All the way into the current. But we went through it. And, 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 and so when they got our manuscripts, they changed the players. They changed, they changed the players. They changed the names. But the word is still good. The cat was out the bag enough to whereas they, they wanted to capitalize on it. They saw the financial benefit of taking over, for the lack of a better term, well, the spiritual system. The Roman Catholic Church took over the religious system, which paved the way also this paved the way for some imposters. You got two different, you got two religious movements that's, written, that's major here, right? You got the Roman Catholic Church, 
right, saying that the church replaced Israel, and then you got a people that's claiming to be Israel. Those was the two lanes that opened up. So you got the fake Jew that grabbed our, our name, our identification, and then you got the Roman Catholic Church that took our position as priests, as priests of the Most High. And then you got the head of the Roman Catholic Church, the Pope, pretending to be God. He's God on earth. He can change the Bible. He had the authority to change. Constantine was the Pope then. But he had the authority to change um, the Shabbat to Sunday and come in and, and switch stuff. Oh, I'm trying to tell y'all. How much time I got? Because, oh, I got to go. Are y'all with me? So you got Constantine. Peter, they said, was supposed to be the first pope. He came in with a pope authority, Constantine did, and he put together the Roman Catholic Church, and he, and he made a whole bunch of changes. <coughs> Excuse me. And here we are now, post 400, and now we waking up. And he's showing us. And, it, and, you know, you just got to be patient. But the cool part about the wake up is the most high is the one that's doing it. Real talk. It's the most high. It's the most high that's doing the wake up because it's heavy lifting. Because you got folk like, I'm going to close with this. I should be out of here. But I'm really going to show you all this again. Go back to Jude. I'm going to close with this. I mean, where was I going? I was going to go to uh, Joel. Three. It's stuff like this that you got to get people to understand. Look at this. It's a patient process. Watch this. <clears throat> Three and one. I, all I want is one and two. It's real simple. I'm going to close with this. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, he going he gonna, he gonna to rescue. He going to reverse the captivity, right? I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead for them there for my people, for my heritage, Israel. Who is he pleading for? People think it's the church. He said who he pleading for. People say it don't matter that we the people. <laughs> I will also gather all the nations <clears throat> and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people, for my heritage, Israel. He said, who he, who he coming back for? Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted by land. Who, who, who did they ship into slavery and then part the land from? Who did they do that to? To the land from Israel. <clears throat> who did they enslave and scatter? Israel. Not the church. <clears throat> Who served the 400 years? Israel. I'm just trying to tell you. So when you start to slowly meditate and study, you'll find that when they put church, upon this rock, I'll build my church, they put the, the, the term church in the Bible. Upon this rock, I'll build my ecclesia. And the ecclesia is Israel, spiritual Israel. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So when you look at Romans, the 11th chapter, he's talking to the Gentiles other than bloodline Israel. Paul was clear about bloodline. He said, I would be a curse for my bloodline, physical bloodline. The ones that physically was in slavery. The ones that physically, I will also gather all the nations to bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people, physical Israel, and for my heritage, Israel, whom they scattered. Who got scattered? Man, come on, we're common sense. Oh, my goodness. Common spiritual sense? Is there any? Whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. Was that physical? Is he talking about physical Israel right here? <clears throat> of course he is. But anyway, you just got to let y'all do it. Preach truth and let, let the chips fall where they may. Is that fair? I'm coming my father's name. I'm out of here, y'all. 543. Y'all with me? Put a four in here if we need prayer. Put a four in here if you need prayer. I'm coming my father's name and you receive me not.
If another come in his own name, him he shall receive. We need Yah, y'all. We need we need to bow down and accept him as master, master uh, of our life. Is there anyone here that has not accepted him as master of your life? Put a one in here. Put a one in here if you're not completely surrendered to Yah and believe that the Mashiach died on that tree for your sins, rose again with all power, and he's willing to come inside of you and save you even right now. Put a one in here if you've never done that before. Put a one. Put a one. Put a one in there if you've never done that before. Because we all finna pray, and I want to pray with you specially. Put a one in here if you've never done that before. Other than that, y'all put a five in here so we can pray. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Put a five on it. Let's pray. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you, and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humbly, to know how we're in your presence because we love you. We need you. Continue to illuminate your children. Quicken us. Make us alive. Continue to reveal truth to us in these last and evil days. Forgive us for all sins, even if you forgive those who sin against us. If there's anyone on the sound of my voice that hasn't received you but want to and believe you, save them even right now, no matter what nation they're from, no matter what nation they're from, no matter what occupation they're from, no matter, no matter what their situation is, uh, save the believer. Uh, uh, cause them to confess you with their mouth, to, uh, making you master of their life. Not 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 only Messiah, but Master as well. Yeah, you are a Savior, a Messiah, but you're also Master. Uh, cause them to repent, even right now. Confess it with their mouth that uh, that you that you are Master. And we pray these things in the Master's name, Yahusha, Hallelujah, and Amon. Submitting to Him and letting Him take control of your life is the most important thing you can do. It's spiritual now that the word that was on stone is now in your heart. The spirit of Yahweh will lead and guide you in the all truth. Is that all right? In the all truth. All you got to do is receive it. Okay? All right. Y'all be brutal. Thank you, everybody. Push the share button. Share your platforms with the truth of the word. Thank you, everybody. Tag you. Ask some folks to come on in. Get your tag game on. Thank you, everybody. Tag. And, and thank you, everybody. That financially supports this ministry. Hello, Yahoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes I be asking for help, even financially. I posted on my page yesterday that somebody PG&E got cut off, and it was six hundred dollars. And I asked for some help. I didn't get no help. I paid it myself. But in the future, we do help. We do help people. We we we, we help people. And and I just posted at that time because it was hard for me to pay that because it was rough on me. <clears throat> but I did it anyway. But in the future. Y'all support the ministry so we can be there to help people when they need it. We feed folk. We clothe folk. We house folk. We do a lot. And we're going to continue to do it to it with or without your help. But if you sow here, if you grow here, sow here. Straight up. Always remember that. You grow here, sow here. So we can do the work. Not only in word, but in deed. All right? Y'all want to talk about the lesson? 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. You're right about it, Logan. Let's continue to pray for the homeless, those out there outside in the cold. Man, it's cold out there. And, and pray for those that are low on resources. Pray for all of us that are sick in our bodies, that the most high continue to heal. I had me a good old bowl of fruit and all that last night for dinner, and I feel terrible afterward. I'm like, what is Bill doing to this fruit? I tried to go for the nines, too. I went to the grocery store, got the nines. I busted up some berries. They didn't look right. The blackberries. And, I, you know, I had a whole bowl of blueberries with all the good stuff, bananas and all. Anyway, y'all pray over your food. I feel a little better now, but y'all pray over your food, okay? All right, love y'all. 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Y'all be brutal. Rock and shalom, I'm gone.